This is our third video on how to solve polynomial inequalities. In our first video, we solved a quadratic inequality by plotting the critical values on the number line. In our second video, we moved to a cubic function and we learned that we did not need to interpret the function in order to solve the inequality, but again, that we can use a number line to find the values that will satisfy this inequality. And now we move on to our third video. In this video, we have x minus 4 squared bigger or equal to 0. And we want to find the values of x where this inequality would be true. So as before, let us find the critical value. And the critical value is x minus 4 equal to 0. So therefore, x would be equal to positive 4. And if we follow the same pattern as before, we can plot this value on a number line. But what is different in this video is that we only have one critical value. We want to determine whether the equation is negative or positive to the left and right of our critical value. But because we only have one value, we would test values on both sides of plus 4. And what we can do is replace x with a number to the right of 4. And let's use 5 for example. So we have 5 minus 4 squared, and that is equal to positive 1. So we know that after 4, the equation would be positive. But notice what will happen on the left. It will not automatically be negative because we only have one critical value. So let's test, for example, x equal to 3. So if I replace x with 3, I have 3 minus 4 squared, and that is also equal to positive 1. So meaning the equation is positive to the left and to the right of 4. So let me show you how this is possible. If we consider a parabola and we just plot it on the x-axis, what is happening is that plus 4 would be a turning point. So meaning the graph would never go below the x-axis it will simply touch the x-axis at one point. So to the right of 4, the graph would be positive, and to the left of 4, the graph would be positive. Also, what you need to notice is when we have squared, it means that that critical value is repeated. And when it is repeated, the sign undergoes a double change. So it won't go from positive to negative, but it'd rather go positive and then positive again. So if we want to interpret this inequality, where is x minus 4 squared big or equal to 0? We can see that it will be bigger or equal to 0 for all values of x. So the graph would always be positive. Now you do not need to know anything about parabolas in order to interpret this inequality. You can simply substitute values to the right and to the left of your critical value to determine the signs and then use those signs to interpret the inequality.